morning, it's Friday. This is gonna be a whole weekend in my life video. Started off strong this morning because I realized I didn't have an espresso pods or cold brew and that's just not gonna work for me today. Indy's 12 weeks now and he's still not sleeping through the night, which is totally normal, but he wakes up like two times in the night and then also wakes up at 6 a.m. So I'm tired and coffee has been extra important lately. So we're going to Starbucks to get a little drink to start the morning off. Ben works from home on Friday, so he's home with Indy and I'm gonna go get us some breakfast. I'm also wearing a hat today. My hair is horrendous. I refuse to style it or wash it because I'm getting it done tomorrow. Spoiler alert, um, so just don't mind me. Okay, we got our Starbucks. I got a ice shake and espresso, you guys know. Perfect. Now I have little indie boy and we're gonna go to the vet to get his second round of shots. And I'm actually so annoyed at his vet right now because he's two weeks behind on his shots and they would not believe me for some reason even though it said on his paperwork when he got his shots. They like, didn't believe me. I was really annoyed with them. But anyways, he's behind now, but we're going to finally get him a second round. So I'll show you guys him in the bed. He's so cute. He's such a good boy at the bed. He got his shots. They had to take him into like a back room to give them to him, but they said he did really good and they used him for a little Instagram reel. <laughs> because he's so cute but now we're gonna go home and he got four different vaccines so they said he might be a little more sleepy today than he normally is so we'll see we'll monitor him and make sure everything's good but yeah that's all for now we're once again back in my car um, I just napped with Indy for like two hours the vet said he'd be a little extra sleepy from his shots but that boy is pooped he literally napped for like two hours and he's still napping but I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I literally don't think I've actually gone to the grocery store since we got him I've instacarted a couple times but I want to like actually go get out of the house and get everything I need so we're going to Trader Joe's and I'm very excited Indy's sleeping Sorry I'm talking so quiet, but Indy's still sleeping. He is so pooped from his shots. I'm actually getting a little bit concerned because I'm such a paranoid puppy mom and they were like, yeah, he'll be extra sleepy, so expect that. But if he's like fatigued, like super, super tired, then that's not normal and bring him back in. And I'm like, at what point is it concerning? Cause he's really sleepy, but I'm sure he's fine. He woke up in one potty and then just went right back to bed. So I picked up some packages from the package room on my way home and I'm gonna unbox them in our room so that he doesn't hear me. The first one is really cute. He's gonna be so excited when he wakes up. My mom <laughs> sent him a bark box, baby's first bark box. My parents' dog gets one every month. So they sent one to Indy and they also have like different themes every month. So this month is carnival, which is really cute. So he got this little I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's like whack-a-mole, but it says smack-a-mole. What's a vol? I don't know. These are little chew sticks, which I've been looking for ones that he really, really likes to keep him busy throughout the day. These ones are pumpkin and honey, and he loves pumpkin, so these are good. And then some little soft treats. These ones are lamb with cheddar cheese. Yum. And then also some salmon ones. Three more. I think I know what one of them is, but I don't know what the other ones are. I'm trying to be quiet, but it's hard. I already have this. I don't know why they sent me another one, but I really like this foundation. So now I have a backup. That's really nice. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear, I think is how you say it. It's a really good, like, I'd say light to medium coverage foundation. That's like a super natural finish. I really, really like this. So I'm not sure why they were feeling generous and sent me another one, but I love this foundation. So that's good. More Lancome. What the hell? Oh my God. This 
a lot of stuff. I was not expecting this package. Okay, this is a perfume, La Vieste Belle. It smells really good, I like it. Here's a waterproof eyeliner. And then they sent two mascaras. <laughs> two mascaras, Sills Booster XL. And then the Idol Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara. This is, looks like skincare, a Clarifique Refining Brightening Pro Solution. Hmm. Ooh, and then two lip glosses. These are the Juicy Tube lip glosses. This one's more like a true pink, like Dior pink blush pink. And this one's like a little bit of a peachier pink. I'm so excited for these. Yep. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, and then the other package is part of Emma's birthday present. So I'm not going to show you because this vlog is going to go up before her birthday. But she just planned like a big birthday airbnb love island themed birthday party so i'm flying to arizona to go to it and i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun but yeah the first part of her present got here but it's top secret i'm just drinking some iced tea that i got from trader joe's and i'm gonna finish up editing a previous video that you guys will have already seen but that's what i'm gonna do it's kind of nice that indy's been sleeping for so long because i can actually get stuff done for the first time in like two weeks. Are you feeling better, buddy? We'll keep on pushing anyway. Good morning. It's like 10 a.m. I've spent the entire morning crying because I'm overwhelmed. And that's the reality of having a new puppy and adjusting to life changes. A lot of the times when I have, not me tearing up, bitch. No. A lot of the times when I'm going through big life changes, it triggers a lot of anxiety for me. So I'm just dealing with that. There's no real issue. He's perfect. I love him. He's a great puppy. Everything's going fine. Um, mommy just has an anxiety disorder. So Ben took him out on a little walk so I can get some cleaning done. I just felt like I just needed to mop the floors because Obviously we're potty training and he's going on his potty pad but still having the potty pad on the floor. I needed to like deep clean the floors and get laundry done because that's one of my coping mechanisms is just like cleaning and organizing and so once I have this done I'll feel better. Um, but that's been my morning so far. I don't know where I'm going Two days, one big commotion the longest nap ever and he just woke up so i thought i would show you his puppy favorites that we've found that he loves so far we've had him for two weeks now he's 12 weeks old and he's a funny little guy he's particular about what he likes i got him some lick mats because i saw that people swear by them and he loved them for like a day and now he will not go near it so it's all about finding what he likes he also doesn't like peanut butter so i've been testing out different things and i found what he loves for treats, he has quite the variety. He's like going crazy down here. I'll give him something. I got him these like single ingredient all natural beef liver treats. They're literally just freeze dried beef liver, which is really good for dogs and he loves them. But I also taught him some tricks. So let me show you what he knows. Okay, Indy sit, focus. Good job. Can you spin and go to your place? Good job. <laughs> I found that those are like a good higher value treat if you really want him to focus or like go in his crate or learn new tricks um those are his fave i've also been trying out these kindful calming chews um for nighttime because he sometimes has a lot of energy at night and you can tell that he's like overtired like a toddler he like fights sleep and he doesn't want to go to sleep so we've been trying these out they're pork liver calming treats and they work pretty good they seem to get them to calm down a little bit we haven't tried these yet but my friend Lindsay recommended them to me because she uses them for her puppy but they're these no hide chicken dog shoes he had these pumpkin flavored ones like little teething rings that he really loved but we ran out there was like i think four in the package and he got through them all really quickly they didn't last him that long so these are like a longer lasting chew to keep them busy for toys he loves basic tennis balls he has like a really big one that he tries to carry around and he really likes it he honestly likes it more than the little ones but he has like little mini baby um tennis balls i also find that he likes like harder things to chew rather than just plushy toys so he has a lot of like silicone 
choose like this. Um, and also these like tougher, more durable, thicker materials, as opposed to something like this, like just a little plushy. He seems to like the ones that are harder to chew a little bit better. I also gave him both of my jelly cats and he loves them. He sleeps with these in his crate every night. And I think he just likes that they're bigger. They're like, like this bunny is about his size. And so he cuddles right up to it and he loves it. I feel like it's just like comforting for him to have like a bigger stuffed animal. I also got these, which I saw these on TikTok. They're the earth rated dog wipes to clean his little paws and his face. They're puppy safe and like hypoallergenic, no like alcohol or fragrance in them. So they're gentle. Um, he will step in his own pee. And so I find that I use these quite often to keep him a little bit cleaner. And I think that's it. That's what he's been loving. So that's all for now. He's a little bit hyper. He's getting crazy. So we just did a little training session and now I'm probably just gonna play with his toys with him and make him run around a little bit to get some of this energy out because ow. We're also working on that biting he's teething and he wants to chew literally everything so that's what's going on right now <laughs> having a puppy is a lot as you can tell i've been just obsessed with him and trying to train him and researching and there's just so much and so many different <laughs> training techniques his little bunny hops are so cute I also got this cute little basket on Amazon. I was looking for something to keep all of his toys in and a lot of the actual like dog specific baskets were really ugly and like dog themed. So I just ended up getting him a normal thick basket that he can't chew through. <laughs> Ignore my packages, but we had this playpen set up around his crate, just like in the middle of our living room, which I feel like is pretty standard <laughs> for Puppies, I see a lot of people do that just to keep them like confined. I found that he really didn't like it and felt like kind of trapped inside of it. And if we let him out, he would be good. But if he was in the pen, he didn't really like it. He doesn't really have that problem with his crate. He likes his crate. So it was kind of just a problem with the pen. Go get it. <laughs> you can do it. We pretty much puppy proofed the apartment and we just blocked off this area where like he was pooping under that bench, which was an issue. He was also climbing under this table and behind the couch. So we just blocked off like the problem areas, which was just over here. And then we keep the rest of the apartment pretty clear of stuff that he can get into. And that has worked a lot better for us. And we find that he does better with a little bit more freedom and we just leave his crate open throughout the day and he can go in and nap when he wants. And it's just been working a lot better for him and for us. Like an ocean, I need your soothing motion. Please help me take the pain away. Sunday. I got my hair done last night. I don't think I even told you guys about it yet, but I went a little bit shorter Got some bangs and dyed it back to pretty close to my natural color a little bit darker um, But we're on our way to the farmers market right now a little someone has been very naughty this morning He woke me up at 6 a.m. On the dot and then was running circles around the apartment like crashing into walls Just so hyper even though we literally didn't put him down for bed last night until like midnight so He's been crazy, um, and we're gonna take him to the farmer's market and get a little socialization in to wear him out a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> no way to change. No way to change. in but fell so far away. Em and I just got done recording the podcast. Why am I talking into the mic? We recorded an episode all about, uh, we made little friendship quizzes for each other and so we quizzed each other. Um, I won. I was gonna say, you have to listen to the podcast to find out, but I'll just let him know that Emma failed. <laughs> she gone. Um, yeah, her true colors were shown and she failed, but that's fine. She said apparently she's a bad listener and it's true. Um, she'll work on it. But yes, that's what we're doing. It's me from the future and I realized that I never ended this vlog, so nice. <laughs> but after I recorded the podcast, I took Indy to his first ever puppy class, which I'll insert some clips from that. 
It's just like a puppy socialization class. It's not like training or anything, but it's basically just so your dog can play with other dogs and like for puppies to get used to them. It's all puppies, eight to 16 weeks. So it was very fun. He was definitely the shyest boy in the class and he just wanted to be like right by me and Ben and all the other dogs were like playing and being like rough with each other and like being kind of crazy and he was definitely the smallest like by far so I think he was a little intimidated and he didn't really play that much it's still good to get him out of his comfort zone a little bit and get him playing with other dogs while he's young um because it's just really good for like his development and stuff but after that my boy is a little introvert, I think, because he was so exhausted. The class was like an hour long and it ended at like 5 p.m. And after that, he literally went home and slept for the rest of the night. And I also went to bed at like 8 p.m. So that explains why I didn't vlog. <laughs> but that was our day. I think I'm going to take him to puppy class once a week to get him a little more socialized and a little more social because he was very shy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a weekend in my life as a new puppy mom, and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye!